Manatees, the sea cow. They spend their lives grazing on seagrass in the clear waters off the shores of Florida. They are large, slow, and no joke. I saw three big ones gang rape a crippled one at SeaWorld one night when I was working there. The manatee is a solitary creature, drifting along in the warm, peaceful shallows. They are not usually held in a small glass enclosure with three other male manatees hell-bent on the violent, forced sex that I, for real, saw with my own eyes while alone one night at SeaWorld, San Diego. A distant relative of the elephant, the manatee has a prehensile upper lip which it uses to gather food. It also has a large penis. Let me tell you, is horrifying engorged and being thrust at a rantish, unwilling and disabled manatee. Classified as endangered, human boaters often cause serious wounds to manatees' flippers, rendering it difficult for this one poor little rescue manatee to escape a large male manatee intent on unwanted anal intercourse. Manatees emit a wide range of high-pitched sounds to communicate with each other, usually during play or presumably to call out for help from the other two manatees in the exhibit when being ravaged. The sound is heard in their small ear holes. The other two manatees did meander over, I assumed spurred by some rudimentary form of empathy to help their helpless brethren. This was incorrect. When they got there, the two manatees, seriously, this, this actually happened, worked together to hold the crippled one firm up against the glass of the enclosure to help the first manatee finally succeed in fucking it in the ass. Let me repeat that. The two manatees, I shit you not, worked in concert to hold the crippled one against the glass, while the first one fucked him in the ass. One needed not to look in that little manatee victim's cold, soul-sapped eyes to know this was not the first time this had happened, nor would it be the last. Six sexy Americans, alone in a house with nothing to do but get nasty. This is Sex House. Welcome to Sex House.